Welcome, folks. This week, we've been talking about the big six, which are our key points of analysis when examining a piece and providing a close reading. So today, we're going to apply those six to a piece of poetry. I have a poem called Out, Out that I'm going to play for you. You also have a Word document of this in Canvas, so if you'd like to print it out or just have it open on another tab while this is playing, you'll have access to that. I'm going to play the video twice. The first time through, I just want you to listen to it, take it in for what it's worth, get from it what you can. The second time through, you'll be stopped and prompted with some questions, uh, asking you to employ some bits of analysis. And then by the end, uh, you'll be asked to make sort of a discussion post over a thematic statement from the piece. So I'll go ahead and play this, and uh, we'll get started. My name is Nina Pozicki, and I will be reading Out, Out by Robert Frost. The buzz saw snarled and rattled in the yard, and made dust and dropped stove-length sticks of wood, sweet-scented stuff when a breeze drew across it. And from there, those that lifted eyes could count five mountain ranges, one behind the other, under the sunset far into the Vermont. And the saw snarled and rattled, snarled and rattled, as it ran light or had the bare load. And nothing happened. Day was all but done. Call it a day. I wish they might have said, to please the boy by giving him the half hour the boy counts so much when saved from work. His sister stood beside them in her apron to tell them supper. At the word, the saw, as if to prove saws near what supper meant, leaped out at the boy's hand or seemed to leap. He must have given the hand. However it was, neither refused the meeting but the hand. The boy's first outcry was a rueful laugh. As he swung toward them, holding up his hand, half an appeal, but half as his the life from spilling. Then the boy saw all. Since he was old enough to know, big boy doing man's work, no child at heart, he saw all spoiled. Don't let him cut my hand off. The doctor, when he comes, don't let him sister. So, but the hand was gone already. The doctor put him in the dark of ether. He lay and puffed his lips out with his breath. And then the watcher at his pulse took fright. No one believed. They listened at his heart, little, less, nothing, and that ended it, no more to build on there, and they, since they were not the one dead, turned to their affairs. My name is Nina Prasicki, I will be reading Out, Out by Robert Frost. The buzz saw snarled and rattled in the yard, and made dust dropped stove-length sticks of wood, sweet-scented stuff when a breeze drew across it. And from there, those that lifted eyes could count five mountain ranges, one behind the other, under the sunset far into Vermont. And the saw snarled and rattled, snarled and rattled, as it ran light or had the bare load. And nothing happened. Day was all but done. Call it a day, I wish they might have said to please the boy by giving him the half hour of the boy counts so much when saved from work. His sister stood beside them in her apron to tell them supper. At the word, the saw, as if to prove saws near what supper meant, leaped out at the boy's hand or seemed to leap. He must have given the hand. However it was, neither refused the meeting but the hand. The boy's first outcry was a rueful laugh. As he swung toward them, holding up his hand, half an appeal, but half as if to keep the life from spilling. Then the boy saw all. Since he was old enough to know, big boy doing man's work, no child at heart, he saw all spoiled. Don't let him cut my hand off. The doctor, when he comes, don't let him sister. So, but the hand was gone already. The doctor put him in the dark of ether. He lay and puffed his lips out with his breath. And then the watcher at his pulse took fright. No one believed. They listened at his heart. Little, less, nothing. And that ended it. No more to build on there. And they, since they were not the one dead, turned to their affairs. Yeah.